Next on the news at 10 is sports news with Ayotun Devalogo. Many thanks, Gimba. The Federal Road Safety Corps Football Club has eliminated the hard-fighting Amaxon Academy Football Club to set up a final clash with FC Abuja in the FCT FA Cup. In the semi-final match played at the Area 3 FIFA Gold Project pitch in Abuja, the Amaxon Academy got off to a good start and dominated the better part of the first half. Things, however, changed in the second half when the road safety team converted a spot kick in the 55th minute to take the lead and sustain it till the final whistle. It's quite um, an impressive performance from the young lads. At least having reached you know, the semi-finals gives a, little, a lot of commendation. I must um, express uh, much satisfaction for their palliative performance. Um, there is still another time again. This is the second outing as, um, as regards to FCT in Abuja. But I'm impressed with um, their outing this time around. It's not an easy task. Actually, this is almost four, fifth time now we've played the final. We won for the fourth time. So we thank God. The boy worked very hard. It's not an easy game. The team we play against is a very good team. It's a very good side also. So we thank God for that. At least we got we forever qualify. Rivers United have been drawn in Group A of the CAF Confederation Cup. The Nigerian Professional League side will play Club Africain of Tunisia, Fat Union Sport of Morocco and Kampala CCA of Uganda. The top two teams from the four groups will qualify for the quarterfinals of the competition. Rivers United are the only Nigerian club side left on the continent after Rangers, Wiki Tourists and FC Fayouba all bowed out in earlier stages of the different CAF competitions. Officers at Newcastle and West Ham have been raided as part of an investigation into suspected tax and national insurance fraud. Revenue and customs officers were deployed at 3 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. rather on Wednesday in raids at St. James's Park and the London Stadium that's the home of West Ham. The forays are understood to be part of a wider probe into the transfer of players between clubs in France and the U.K. French authorities are also assisting in investigations and have made arrests and searched several locations in France as well. In boxing, WBC heavyweight champion Dante Wilder wants Anthony Joshua to beat Vladimir Klitschko so he can face him in a unification mega fight. Although Wilder still views the heavyweight showdown as a genuine 50-50, he prefers Joshua to remain unbeaten so that both can set up a multi-title fight further down the line. Navalda rates Klitschko as a good lad, having been his sparring partner in the past, but now wants to surpass him by becoming the first undisputed heavyweight world champion since Lennox Lewis in the year 2000. And the Tokyo 2020 Olympics Organizing Committee and the Rugby World Cup 2019 Organizing Committee have signed an agreement to collaborate between both events. The deal was signed by Tokyo 2020 CEO Toshiro Muto and the Rugby World Cup Chief Executive Officer Akira Shimizu. The two organizing committees will share information and resources on transportation, venues, security, volunteering and anti-doping measures. And that's wrap on Sports News. The News at 10 continues shortly. The U.S. military's top commander in the Pacific, Admiral Harry Harris, has, told, has today told Congress that the deployment of TAD in South Korea is aimed at bringing North Korea's leader Jim, uh, Kim Jong-un to his senses and not his knees. This comes as the United States deploys its terminal high-altitude area defense in South Korea. China has spoken against the deployment, saying that it undermines the strategic balance of the region and further provokes tension in the peninsula. The protests which hold routinely are against the deployment of the controversial FAD anti-missile defense system that the U.S. military started moving to a deployment site in Seongyu, South Korea. About 30 members of South Korean civic group gathered in Central Seoul holding up placards while chanting slogans such as Stop the Third Deployment. The earlier than expected move of the third system prompted protests by hundreds of local residents, some of them clashing with police earlier in the day. 
Seal and Washington say the sole purpose of the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense FARD system is to defend against North Korean missiles. But China is concerned the system's powerful radar can penetrate its territory and undermine its security. Washington and Pyongyang have been ratcheting up pressure on each other in recent weeks, with the United States sending an aircraft carrier group and nuclear submarine to the region, and North Korea attempting more missile launches in defiance of layers of UN sanctions. And finally, on a sad note, former Minister of Aviation Professor Babalola Borishade has died at the age of 71. According to reports, the minister who died in a London hospital after a brief illness served as a minister in different ministries between 1999 and 2011. He is from Ikiti State and was one time Minister of Education and also Aviation, a teacher, a political strategist and an electrical engineer. Meanwhile, his former colleague and Minister of Aviation, Mr Femi Fani Kaede, describes his death as a monumental loss, saying that he was a good leader, a good brother and will be missed by the nation. And the main news again, President Muhammad Buhari was absent today from the Federal Executive Council meeting. The Minister of Information, Lai Muhammad, explained that the President had to work from his home today. Also today, the presidency wrote to the National Assembly seeking approval for a loan of about 7 billion naira from China and the World Bank to finance railway projects, procurement of polio vaccines and the reconstruction of the Northeast. And the United States today said that the deployment of THAAD is to bring North Korea to its senses. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for being a part of it. On behalf of everyone here, have a splendid night, friends. Good night.